Hi, I'm now here with Bernice Riley, um, who's the landlady of the White Hart. Um, Bernice, obviously been a fairly traumatic few weeks since um, the situation arose where the police visited and took away the dolls from behind the bar and all the other paraphernalia. The national news got involved. Um, camera, I think probably it would be fair to say, turned against the pub, which they've been supporting for many years, or that may be a personal opinion, but I was quite surprised to see it. And we're here today, 1st of May, the last day of the pub under your and Chris's stewardship. So can you just speak about how you feel and, and what the situation is? I feel, I feel gutted, totally and utterly gutted. Um, hurt, upset. Um, I've had much, very, very much support from many people about the gullies. Um, we've had a few bits of hates, uh, which I personally don't understand. Um, because it's part of our life. Um, the young people these days don't understand uh, from years ago where the, do the gullies originate from. It's such a shame. Uh, that's my collection. Um, the antiques, some of them. I want them back. Um, basically, this is my life now that they've ruined because we've got a stigma with our name now and with the pub. This, 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 this pub has been a part of Gray's life for many, many years, probably a long time before you and Chris took over the tenancy has. of it. It's one of the iconic pubs. For many years, it's been held up in high esteem by camera. Uh, and as I say, I, I, I saw the, the press releases from the, from the, the national camera people, mm -hmm. not the local camera people, to be fair, yep. um, that, that almost seemed to turn again. I mean, how do you feel about that? I mean, I mean forget if we can the, 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 the doll situation. As a pub, this has been very much a part of the local Grace community. And, and you was, how do you feel about it? Yeah, um, I am gutted what camera's done to us, right? Uh, because um, they've been in here, many people from camera, not just the local camera people, other people from the camera have been in here and they've never ever said anything about the collection. And for the ones right up top who's never ever met me or Chris, or even step foot in this pub for them to stand like to do what they've done I think it's disgusting um, also you don't know this but Colesburg's done the same Colesburg's told us to stop selling their product Heineken told us to stop selling their product because they don't want their name associated with the pub because of this stigma. Inserve, who does our pumps and our line cleans, they're not going to come on site anymore to do line cleans or anything to our... So if, if, if we've got a problem, we sort it out ourselves. Um, yeah, I've had enough. And, and this, I mean, what, we have to draw a timeline on this situation. That in 2018, this situation first came up. Thurrock Council, Essex Police were all involved. And without trying to put too fine a point on it, or, or to pick a side, the pub and yourselves were found to have breached no rules or regulations. None whatsoever. And, um, and this has now obviously flared up this year. Um, can you explain how and why you think it's happened now? Someone on Reddit um, started it all again. We don't know who. The police call him a victim. Is a victim, what do they think I am? Um, yeah, the police said I'm a victim after my windows were smashed and races was put on my windows. They call that a victim now. So yeah, I'm a victim now, but I wasn't a victim before, was I? Yeah, I'm angry, I'm annoyed, I'm upset. Um, because if the police left it alone, like they left it alone in 2018, 
we wouldn't be in this situation now. And we probably would have plodded on with the pub. Mm. But as far as I'm concerned, they've ruined it for us. They've ruined our name. Let's, I don't think we can draw positives in terms of yourself and Chris, but there must, you must still have many, many, many happy memories of this pub. I have. And you're, I've just walked through there. I've done a little film with people enjoying themselves on your last afternoon. Really, what are your feelings about the pub? I'm going to miss the pub. I'm going to miss the people. We've had so many laughs in here. We've had so much happiness in here. Um, my customers are absolutely fantastic. Um, I could probably count on one hand the trouble we've ever had in here. I don't tolerate any drugs. I don't tolerate fighting or anything like that. And we've always stuck by that. We've never had lock-ins and I don't agree with anything like that. And we've never had it, so we've always had a good pub. Um, yeah, it's hurtful. And I know many of my customers have been crying today. Yesterday, I had customers crying. I've been crying all week. It hurts, it hurts. I've had 17 years of my life here. And I've had 17 good years of my life here. And to close them doors tonight is gonna hurt big time. Life goes on, don't it? It does. But and and as I say, I, the one thing that I can be certain of is that there will be many, I mean, I spoke to a lot of people. There are two sides to every argument. There are people who are going to vilify you. They're going to vilify Chris. They're going to vilify the pub. And some people will argue about the merits of the dolls or not the dolls or whatever. But I do think, I think anybody would be foolish not to say that this pub has been a major part of Grey's. Um, it's really sad that the doors are going to close tonight. Grey's has lost another iconic venue. Certainly. Um, I mean, we all look towards Grey's as the centre of Thurrock as a civic area. Um, it's another venue gone and uh, another iconic venue gone. Um, I mean, what do you think about the future of Thurrock and Grey's in particular going forward? You're not going to be a part of it now. Any no. thoughts on that? Not really. Um, how can they improve Grey's? Come on, let's be honest. How can they? Um, Grey's is gone, basically. In my eyes, it's gone. Um, the younger generation these days, do they really care? No. In my eyes, they don't. They don't care. Um, they've got different thoughts than us older people. Respect. It's there would be find. people who say, you don't show respect by having the dolls behind the bar. Is it? And we'll make this the one last comment. Your final thoughts on those dolls? My final thoughts on them dolls was I had them as children, right? Uh, when I was a child, my auntie bought me some and I left all them people in the pub. Most of them had bought me a, a doll. Um, and it just started from there, right, basically. I will say, if people think that a golly doll looks like them, they're the ones who's got a problem and they're the ones which are racist. I'm not, and I'm far from it. I trade under India Inns Greys Limited. That must tell people something, right? We have all different cultures in our pub, right? And I welcome them all. Um, we have photography in the back room and they're all mixed race people, right? They've never had a problem with them, yeah? One person, one person is taken for the police to come and take my gollies, right? And that's a collection and they're antiques, right? Some of antiques. Yeah, I'm angry, I'm upset because for five to six pe uh, police to come here to take them, in my clothes, like, uh, before I open, right, and they said that White Hart's got a good, um, what they call it, a, a, a good backing. That's what their words were, a good backing. Yes, we have got a good backing, and we've got good people in here, right, and they are upset. 
that the gullies were taken, right? And I am upset that my gullies were taken. They were doing no harm, right? If people don't like it, they didn't have to come through my door, right? Uh, they were doing no harm on a shelf, right? I didn't have them in the windows, right? I had them on my shelf. So you'd have to come through my pub to see them, right? And many, many people liked them, loved them, in fact. Like, I on, honestly, true as I sit here, I can't understand why. Okay. Well, the line is now drawn. You and Chris are going off to what we all hope, I'm sure, is a happy retirement. I'm sure there are a great many people who've used this pub over the years that would say thank you for your hospitality. Um, I've had a few beers in here over the years, and I say thank you for your hospitality. Um, we'll draw a line, and uh, what will be, will be. I'd just like to say one thing, though, Neil, that Chris has still got to be questioned on the 18th of May, so I can get my gollies back. And let's see if he's going to be charged with anything. I'm sure we will. And if anything happens, we will report it on Thurrington News. Thank you, Bernice. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Neil.